Happening right now at five, many people are observing Memorial Day across the valley. And while it's considered the unofficial start of summer, it's first a day to honor those who died while serving in the U.S. Armed Forces. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 5. I'm Logan Rannick. Even under unusual circumstances, the city of Wheeling is still finding ways to honor those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. American Legion Post 1 held a special ceremony today remembering the fallen. And while the event was private this year, 7 News reporter Stephanie Grinley was there to capture this beautiful commemoration. She joins us live in the 7 Newsroom with the details. Stephanie. Logan, it's a day to thank those who secured the freedoms we have. A day of sacrifice, a day of remembrance, and today, while the public could not be there, flowers were still laid at, in the water at Heritage Port for a ceremony that will go down in history. Donning masks and gloves, the Memorial Day ceremony, while not open to the public, still commanded attention. Dozens of bystanders stood behind caution tape as the American Legion Wheeling veterans hosted an intimate ceremony. The guest speaker was a decorated Vietnam veteran, and though he, though he gave a short speech, it spoke to the power found in this day. And as we go through day-to-day -day life, even during a pandemic, the veteran remembers the names of 49 who died in battle echoing that it is through sacrifice that we are free. I carry in my car every day a list of the people who were KIA on that day. I carry it because I always want to remember they sacrificed their life for me. They are my heroes. They will always be my heroes. And that's why today I still travel with their names above my sun visor in my car. Please always remember freedom is not free. To close, flowers were placed in the river at Heritage Port, a symbol that the freedom of servitude, that the freedom and servitude and sacrifice lives on in the freedom of you and I. And today we hold in our hearts a little tighter the Gold Star families. The decorated veteran tells me, though Memorial Day looked very different this year, he believes this message remains the same. Live in the 7 Newsroom, I'm Stephanie Grinley, working for you.